Hey, what's happening there, hat folks? G the Hat Guy here. I'm back with another awesome hat video for you on how to put hat and shoe combinations together. We're still continuing with the series on that. Um, so hopefully, uh, when you watch the video to the end, you're able to gain some additional insights and, uh, you know, learn something beneficial about, uh, you know, different options. This is just some, some ideas of, of the several combinations of what's available out there. Um, as far as putting hat and shoe combinations together, I'm a huge hat fan. I'm a hat retailer. Uh, you know, also make hats as well. And I'm also into shoes. Uh, I, I don't sell shoes, uh, but you know, I'm a huge fan of shoes as well. Um, so yeah, uh, for this video, you know, we're going to focus on hats, zip up and chucker boots, plaid and cable knit scarves etc you know that's what we're going to be looking at uh for this video so let's get right into it um let's see here as you can see right in front of me here let me take this out of the bag let's see i forgot Got this fedora hat here in black. Take a look here. Let's see what we got. Take all that packaging off of there here. Uh, yeah, very nice. Uh, it's got a nice leather uh, sweatband on the inside. This is a fur felt uh, fedora hat. This is a uh, rabbit, 100% rabbit fur felt fedora hat. Uh, it's got the uh, teardrop top, as you can see on this one here. Two pinches in the front. It's got a, a nice thin size uh, band there in the black. It's got the uh, the binding on the edge. That's the ribbing that's sewn to the edge of the hat there. That's called a binding. Okay. Uh, so check that out. It's got a nice uh, western type flair to it uh, with this hat here. A nice you know, uh, conservative, uh, uh, thin, uh, Western style type band, hat band on the other side there. Very nice fedora hat. Uh, again, this is 100% rabbit. It's got a nice lining on the inside. Nice, uh, leather sweatband in the black there as well. Let's see here. Uh, so for this one here, you know, I've got different shoe options here. Let's see what we have here. Let's take a look. See what we got. Bear with me here, folks. Uh, if you're kind of new to my channel, you know, I typically record my videos with one hand. And, you know, I'm trying to show you the items with another hand here. So, that's my current setup. So, bear with me here. One moment. Let's see. Got that there. Okay. So this is the first one that we had. This is a nice size zip up boot here is what you're looking at. Uh, with this particular boot here, this is uh, actually like waterproof. You know, it's got the Gore-Tex uh, uh, waterproof membrane, you know, on the inside and stuff. You know, it's kind of built into it. You know, so this is very nice for your fall, you know, uh, if you have rain, you know, snow, that type of stuff, you know, whatnot. Very nice, you know, dress style. You know, uh, you could do dress casual with this as well. You know, it's got a, a rubber uh, sole there, whatnot. It's got the size zip on there. Okay, this is uh, just above your ankle, a little bit above your ankle. It's not quite your, your, uh, you know, uh, standard ankle boot. It's just a little bit past your ankles on this one here. Uh, see, I guess maybe you could call it an ankle boot, you know. Um, and uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, so it's waterproof, like I said, you know, got a nice leather on there um let's see and now 
go good with something like this. One second. Let's see here. That'll go good with something like this here with this fedora hat. <laughs> so, let's try that again. Let's see. There we go. I'll go good with that. Yeah. Got you. Uh, there we go. You got you. You got your fedora hat there. Okay. So very nice combination. You know, something like this. You, may, you can also do a... Uh, I've got a nice uh, cable knit. A black cable knit scarf here. Okay. This is a cable knit. Uh, wool cable knit scarf on this one here. Okay. This would be a great complement to something like this. Okay, uh, yeah, you can put you can put different combinations together. You know, uh, if you wanna, let's see, let's see that. You got that cable knit scarf right there. Yeah, you could do your hat right there. Yeah, uh, nice combination. Uh, that's your cable knit uh, scarf, a wool cable knit scarf there. So yeah, you know, you can do something like this for the fall, you can do it for the winter. And like I said, the boots are, uh, you know, waterproof, you know, it's got the waterproof membrane. So it's got the rubber sole that's perfect for your, for rain and snow and whatnot. So uh, yeah, you could do, if you want to do something like this with dress pants, you could do that. Uh, you can do any type of casual pants, you know, jeans. If you want to do a dress casual type look with jeans, uh, you know, uh, the boots also, you can actually wear the boots with, with a suit. You know, the soles look pretty, you know, look, uh, it's got the dressy look to it, you know. So, yeah, something like this you can do with a suit too, a uh, different type, whether it's a black suit or charcoal gray suit something like that that's close to back as well uh maybe like a navy uh suit you know you want to do black pants or black navy dress pants you can do charcoal gray dress pants you can do with that too black dress pants of course like i said jeans uh you know you can do with that as well uh it's a nice combination right there and you can you know add another accessory like the scarf to it you know, the cable in the scarf, you know, so uh, really any type of scarf that would kind of work with it, you know, whether it's black or it's got black or some other colors in there, you know, you can do a variety of uh, combinations on that one. Let me show you something else here. Let's see. Uh, I have another scarf here. This is a cashmere, cashmere scarf. Let's see. One moment. Yeah, this is a hundred percent cashmere scarf. You know, it's got some burgundy, some charcoal gray in there, some white. Okay, this is a hundred percent cashmere uh, plaid uh, sc scarf on this one, and it's got the fringes. It's got the fringes on the end there. See that? It's got the fringes on the end there. Yeah. So if you don't want to do black scarf, you can you want to add a little bit of color, you know, you can do that too. See what I mean? You know. So that's another combination to kind of break up the uh maybe monotony of too much black in there. You know, you could do something like that, you know, add another some that kind of you know, add a pop of color to it. You know, or maybe a scarf that's got uh, maybe navy in there or uh, uh, uh you know, any other type of color that's not going to throw it off too much. You know, you see that charcoal and the burgundy, they're kind of subtle. They're kind of close to black, but they're not quite black. So they kind of throw a little softness of difference in color from the black. You know, uh, I won't recommend maybe adding like a yellow scarf or something that's got yellow in it. That might be too much. I think that'll be too much for this ensemble. You know, um, but like I said, you know, burgundy. Uh, you 
know, or even maroon type and charcoal that kind of complement that black, you know, that it won't be like totally off, you know, subtle. Some of the black, whatnot, so. And you can also do, uh, this is a leather uh, driving cap, Italian driving cap. You know, if you want to do a cap or something, you can also do a cap, whether it's leather, whether it's wool or something. That's an Italian driving cap right there. You can do that. See something like that too? That'll work. All right. Yeah, that worked with that combination. This is a uh, traditional Italian driving cap here. A leather driving cap. So I have a wool. Uh, this is a wool hawker cap. Uh, similar to a, a newsboy cap, basically. It's got the panels. doesn't have the, uh, the cutout panels on it that... Uh, the eight panels, but it's kind of stamped and imprinted. It's got a center button. So this is a Hawker. Uh, that's what this is called with this particular brand. But it's a, uh, it's basically like a noose, noose boy cap, paper boy cap is what this is, and that's wool. So if you want to do a wool cap, you can do that too. See, you've got another option with that too. You know, that go good with something like that. Let's see. Um, what else do I have for you? Bear with me here, folks. One second. Okay, so. So that's that. So let me put this one away here, like I said. Uh, so nice. Um, like I said, ankle zip-up boots. Like I said, you know, waterproof. It's got the size zip. It's got like a fabric lining uh or actually uh yeah it's got that that gore-tex that waterproof membrane lining the insole is leather it's got a leather insole in there but yeah that there is that one there you know you can see it's a nice uh nice dress boots there yeah, let's see uh you can dress it up, dress it down with jeans. You know, you've got several different options. It's got the uh, the loop, you know, to help you put it on. You know, the heel loop there. You know, put your finger in it, slide it on. You know. Okay, put that back in the box here. One second. Bear with me here. Let's see what we got. Folks, uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Again, I'm G the Hat Guy. You know, uh, if you're new to the channel, you know, I'm a hat retailer. I make hats, hat enthusiasts. You know, also a huge fan of uh, shoes as well. I don't sell shoes, though, but I do sell hats. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, like and share with somebody else who you think might be interested in this type of content, who's into hats or shoes, you know, or fashion in general, who might be interested or trying to learn about hats, etc. I've got several diff different videos. Check out my playlist tab. Okay, for the channel, I have several videos about hats. You know, and I've got a series, new series I started making with hats and shoe combinations as well. Also, check me out on Facebook. We have a Facebook uh, hat group, the social hat group. You can post uh, pictures of your own hat and shoe combination, post pictures of your own hat, hat uh, collection on there. Let me see. I want to see how you put your hat and shoe combinations together. I want to see your hat collections. You can post that on there. It's called uh, the Hatter's Lounge. H-A-T-T-E-R-S. Lounge. L-O-U-N-G-E. By G the Hat Guy. The Hatter's Lounge by G the Hat Guy. It's the name of the social hat group on Facebook. Uh, send me a request to join the group. Make sure you answer the questions. Uh, right before we've got a few questions about your favorite hats. And, you know, and we've got rules for the group. It's a private hat group. So once, you, once I get your request, then I'll go ahead and authorize that for you. You can start posting your own pictures with your hat collection, your hat and shoe combinations on there. Uh, no spam, though, okay? No spam. And uh, also, you can follow me on Instagram at G the Hat Guy, okay, on Instagram. Uh, okay, so hopefully you're learning something so far on how to put your uh, hat and shoe combinations together or maybe improve 
uh, your insights on what you're currently doing. Bear with me here, folks, while I put this away here. One sec. Okay. Yeah, the next one I have for you is this here. Let's see. Yeah, this is an Italian made uh, dress shoe here. Okay, Italian made uh, Oxford style dress shoe. Let's see. Uh, you know, uh, this is handmade in Italy, actually. Uh, yeah, very nice uh, Italian shoes there. Yeah. Let's see. And uh, this you can wear with suits, of course, something like this. You know, you can wear with suits, uh, uh, you can do dress pants, you know, uh, do a sweater on the top if you want, you know, uh, if you want to do, you know, uh, different combinations you can do, you can add some color to your sweater, you know, uh, you know, if you want to do maybe like a rust orange sweater, uh, if you want to do a red uh, sweater, if you want to do maybe like a mustard yellow sweater, and then do black pants with the black shoes, That'll go good, you know, um, you can throw your scarf in there if you want to do scarf, something like this with charcoal gray, uh, another combination, this is a, a plaid sweater, uh, you can do an all black uh, scarf if you want, there's several different options that you can do, you know, something like this as well, that's a cashmere uh, scarf, you know, plaid scarf, you know, you can do something like that too, again, you can do suits, uh, dress pants, sweaters, uh, with this combination here, uh, most definitely, um, let's see, let's see what else I have for you, yeah, so very nice Italian dress shoes there, leather, Italian leather dress shoes, Let me put that away here. One moment. The next one I have this one. Let's see what we got. We got some chuckle beats for you here. We got some nice chuckle boots for you. This is in uh, New Buck. This has got the New Buck uh, finish on there. New Buck leather. It's got a nice leather lining on there. Okay. Uh, it's got. Uh, like a sheepskin, uh, uh, I'm sorry, like a, a sheep fur in the back of your uh, ankle there to kind of add some extra warmth. That's what that white uh, padding is back there. It's actually a uh, sheep uh, uh, fur back there. And uh, uh, yeah, they put some wool, some sheep wool back there. It's got leather lining on the inside there. Leather lining, leather uh, insole. Okay, but the actual material is uh, Nubuck. It's Nubuck leather, it's got a nice burnished, kind of like a burnished finish on there. You see, uh, it's got that burnished finish at the, at the toe box there. Okay, and then right by the lace, it's got that burnishing. You know, also in the back, you know, it's got the burnishing there. This is more of a casual type. It's got the rubber lug sole. Okay. This is more of a uh, uh, more of a uh, what is it? Uh, casual uh, dress casual type. I'm more of a dress casual type uh, boot chucker boot boots. What no, that's what this is? So something like this. You know, you can do your fedora hat with that too like i said you could do jeans with something like this you could do a nice pair of chinos uh khaki pants with this 
you can probably get away with some dress pants, you know, depending on the dress pants, if it's not too dressy, you know. I won't recommend this with a suit. Uh, this is not a suit uh, type of look, you know, for those uh, chucker boots, whatnot. You can add your scarf to it, you know, your uh, plaid scarf, you know, that's got, again, if you want to do all black, you can do all black scarf. If you want to do a combination of colors, you know, something like this with uh, charcoal and maybe another color that's not too bright, that's kind of subtle, you can do that. You know as well that'll go good with something like this as well this 100% cashmere uh, plaid uh, scarf here okay um, I also have uh, before I forget I have another hat over here you know this hat here this is the cattleman's crease uh, hat this is not a fedora uh, style hat this is a cattleman's crease style hat she's got the cattleman's crease on the top it's got the nice thin uh so maybe about half an inch um yeah maybe about uh quarter of an inch actually maybe about a quarter of an inch i'll say maybe somewhere around there maybe a little bit uh wider than that about a quarter of an inch somewhere around there um Half an inch, quarter of an inch, a little bit. Some in between there. Uh, hat band there. This is a black 100% rabbit fur felt hat as well. It's got a nice leather sweatband on the inside there. Okay, it's got the hat lining, nice leather sweatband on the inside. Again, this is, uh, it's got the uh, hat lining. Rabbit. Okay. And there you go. It's got the edge binding. It's got the ribbon, the edge binding on the edge. It's sewn. It's not a raw edge. So something like this you can do with that. With the chocker boots. You see that work. Okay, it's a nice look as well. Um let's see what else I got here. If you want to do if you want to do a driving cap. Leather driving cap, you could do that with like a uh, a leather coat. Okay, you can do a leather coat with that. Uh, again, you know, casual pants, black pants, maybe some dress pants you can get away with in black, something like that. Do a different color sweater. Excuse me. <clears throat> do a different color sweater on the top. You can do that. That work. This is a uh, cable knit wool cable knit uh scarf you know you can do something like this as a scarf too if you want you know with this combination here you know that work too you know or a different color maybe like a charcoal something subtle not too bright color you know uh, as far as scarf uh, accessory with that also if you want to do a wool uh newsboy cap style news boy cap you can do that too with this combination that work too okay you know, there's several different options you can do and like I said you can do certain types of dress pants with this combination jeans uh, nice pair of chinos something like that you know you could do black uh, uh, khaki pants with it you know that work you know as well and do a different color sweater on top or shirt you know on top you know, uh, maybe a, a plaid or checker pattern uh, type shirt you can do on the top. You know, you got your black hat or your black cap with it. You know, that worked too. So several different combinations. Again, this is just to kind of give some ideas. Uh, nothing is uh, written in stone here with these uh, combinations because you've got several different options available. So... what you can do bear with me here folks I'm trying to put the shoes away here if you're used to my videos by now you know I'm trying to film this with one hand and, you know put the shoes away with another hand huh? 
One second. Okay, it's the last one. I'm down to the last one here now. So let's see what we got. One second. Let's see what I got here for you. Okay, folks, again, uh, make sure you like the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Got more awesome content coming for you. Check out the playlist section. I've got different uh, uh, videos about hats, you know, also hat and shoe combinations. We just started a series uh, about a month or so ago with hat and shoes, how to put hat and shoe combinations together uh, for your outfits, uh, your wardrobe, your closet, all that great stuff, okay? Uh, check me out on Facebook. Uh, we have a social hat group, the Hatters Lounge by G, the Hat Guy. Okay, search for that on Facebook. Send me your request to join the group. You can post your own pictures. I want to see your own hat and shoe combinations, how you put your hat and shoe combinations together. I want to see your hat collection. It's the Hatters Lounge by G, the Hat Guy. H-A-T-T-E-R-S-L-O-U-N-G-E by G, the Hat Guy. Okay, again, send me your request to join. I can add you to the group. You answer a few questions, a private hat group. Uh, you know, make sure you follow the rules. No spam. You can post your own pictures, okay? All right, folks. Let's see what else we got here. I've got a nice uh, dress uh, double monk strap cap toe shoe here. Okay, very nice. This is Italian made as well. Um, and, uh, you yeah, know, it's got the leather lining on the inside. Nice leather. Okay. Something like this, too. You know, you can do this fedora hat, okay, you can do that fedora hat, you know, that work, nice combination, again, if you want to do a scarf combination with it, you know, you can add your scarf to it, you know, whether in black or a couple combination colors, you know, that work too, something like this you can do with a suit right you can do with a suit you can do with dress pants uh yeah you know so it's a nice combination there for you uh, also again i've got the catamans crease hat here okay you can do something like this with it too this is a, you know you can dress that hat up you can dress it down it's got a dress up and a dress casual type look to it okay the catamans crease hat you know, so that adds a little Western flair to the look. You can do that with a suit, with dress pants, you know, as well. On that very nice combination there, too. Okay. Um, let's see here what else I got for you here. Also, if you want to do a newsboy cap or something, you can do that, too, with a wool cap. Okay. You can do that combination that work. Or, I'm going to do a, uh, a leather driving cap. It's got a leather ivy driving cap there. Italian leather cap. You do that with a leather coat. That'll go real good with a leather coat there on top. You know, so. And you could do a sweater. You know, you can do a shirt. You know. Uh, kind of break off the colors, so you know you don't want to do a black shirt. I have everything black from top to bottom. So you know if you want to do, you know, add a little bit of color to it, whether it's uh, charcoal or uh, uh, charcoal is kind of close to black, you know. So I recommend something which you can still do, but kind of break it up a little bit. Maybe like a mustard yellow or uh, you know like a dark red or something like that. Burnt orange. This is just some of my favorite colors I'm throwing out there. If you want to do like an olive like a dark olive or a light olive uh, sweater, V-neck sweater, a round neck sweater or something, black pants, you can do that. Like I said, you can do a suit, shirt, you know, you can do a dress shirt with a check pattern or plaid or, you know, maybe it's got a combination of two colors or something like that in it. They'll kind of go with black, you know, uh, you know, something that's not going to throw off that black uh, uh, color combination or whatnot. So you can do that too. You can do, you got a scarf here. You got your uh, plaid scarf, you know. It's got the charcoal with the burgundy. You can do that. Again, you know, to kind of break up the black, the monotony of all black, 
type of thing. Add a little bit of color that's not going to be too much, kind of throw off the thing, you know. Colors that are kind of calm, you know. So you got the charcoal, you got the burgundy, you got some white in there with that plaid scarf, whatnot. That work, okay. So, folks, I hope you learned something, gained something. Make sure you thumbs up the video. Uh, give it a thumbs up. If you learn or gain something beneficial, subscribe to the channel. I've got more great, awesome uh, content coming your way. Check us out, The Hatter's Lounge by G The Hat Guy on Facebook. Send me your request to join the group. You can post your own pictures as well. And, uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. I like to see your hat and shoe combinations uh, on the uh the hat group, uh, the Hatters Lounge on Facebook, okay? All right, so until the next video, I've got more great, awesome videos coming your way. Thank you for watching, and uh, salute. Okay, bye-bye.